All right, guys, so I've been talking about why you fish the winter. There's no one out here fishing on a pond I've never been to before. Um, let me show you this bad boy. This is a tank. I mean, a tank. <laughs> this fish should be three pounds. I bet you he's gonna go five. He is just a tank. I mean, he is, this is what SoCal fish look like when they eat trout. They look that big. I don't know if you can see that. This fish is absolutely a tank. Um, and uh, he bit a Berkeley worm. Let me show you this real quick. Um, I'll show you. Shaky head worm. That's the hip worm I've been talking about. The green pumpkin badger color. I'm out here on some nasty pond I ain't never been to before. Absolute nasty pond. Haven't got a bite in 10 minutes. And I felt a peck and caught this absolute gorilla of a fish. So let me let him go real quick. And I'll talk to you really quickly about what I'm doing here. So there's that worm. That hit worm. And uh, let me let this guy go. This is an absolute tank. He's really big. Hefty. So let me put him in here. Come on, dude. There he goes. See ya. Alright, so like I said, great day today. 60 degrees. Wind's blowing hard. But the thing is, it's January, mid to late January. Guys, these fish, believe it or not, especially big females like that, they will look to spawn January, February. Now, they're not going to spawn, but that looked like a big old pre-spawn fish, didn't it? What's he doing up here in two foot of water? Two foot of water on a 60 degree day, he's looking to spawn. Um, now, he's not going to spawn. But if it got 70 for a week, you'd probably push up in here and spawn. She would. And uh, that's what happens when you just fish and stick to it. And just keep it simple, guys. I mean, I'm telling you exactly what I'm doing, exactly what I'm throwing. Um, and I'm fishing ponds that I've never, no one told me to come fish this area. No one told me to come fish here. Um, I'm just doing exactly what I said. Um, but those are the kind of fish that are out here right now. And that's why you fish in the winter. All around the country, I've done this since I was a kid. In Seattle, uh, California, uh, Minnesota, I've done it in the winter time, And here in, in the south, it's the same thing. I mean, it's been freezing at night and warm during the day. And those fish are biting. So um, good luck out there. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Post your questions if you're not having luck. And I'll talk to you soon. Hey guys, what's going on? It's James, and thanks so much for watching the video. You know, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, these guys continue to censor people like us. We don't even really know why. One of the best things you can do to combat that is to hit the like button, hit subscribe, uh, and dr drop a comment. Uh, that forces the algorithm to continue to push this video out to more and more people, 10, 20, 50, 100 more people, and that is the way that we can continue to fight censorship together. So thank you so much. We do these completely for free, edit, do all this stuff. We pay people to do all this for you just because we, we love the sport and we want to continue to be out there and uh, helping people be active in the outdoors, kids, young people, families, all those kind of things. So thanks so much. Thank you so much for letting me serve you here. I look forward to continuing to do it, and I will talk to you soon.